This is chapter one of the crossover by Kwame Alexander called The Warm Up. Dribbling. At the top of the key, I'm moving and grooving, popping and rocking. Why you bumping? Why you locking? Man, take this thumping. Be careful though, cause now I'm crunking. Crisscrossing, flossing, flipping. And my dipping will leave you slipping on the floor while I swoop in to finish with a fierce finger roll. Straight into the hole, swoosh. Josh Bell. My name, Josh Bell is my name, but filthy McNasty is my claim to fame. Folks call me that because my game's acclaimed. So downright dirty, it'll put you to shame. My hair is long, my height is tall. See, I'm the next Kevin Durant, LeBron, and Chris Paul. Remember the greats? My dad likes to gloat. I bawled with the magic and the goat. But tricks are for kids, I reply. Don't need your pets, my game so fly. Mom says, your dad's old school, like an old Chevette. You're fresh and new, like a red Corvette. Your game so sweet, it's a crepe Suzette. Each time you play, it's all net. If anyone else called me fresh and sweet, I'd burn mad as a flame. But I know she's only talking about my game. See, when I play ball, I'm on fire. When I shoot, I inspire. The hoop's for sale, and I'm the buyer. How I got my nickname. I'm not that big on jazz music, but dad is. One day we were listening to a CD of a musician named Horace Silver and dad says, Josh, this cat is the real deal. Listen to that piano fast and free, just like you and JB on the court. It's okay, I guess, dad. Okay, did you say okay? Boy, you better recognize greatness when you hear it. Horace Silver is one of the hippiest. If you shoot half as good as he jams. Dad, no one says hippiest anymore. Well, they ought to, cause this cat is so hip. When he sits down, he's still standing, he says. Real funny, Dad. You know what, Josh? What, Dad? I'm dedicating this next song to you. What's the next song? Only the best song, the funkiest song on Silva's Paris Blues album, Filthy, McNasty. At first, I didn't like the name because so many kids made fun of me on the bus, at lunch, in the bathroom, even mom had jokes. It fits you perfectly, Josh, she said. You never clean your closet. And that bed of yours is always filled with cookie crumbs and candy wrappers. It's just plain nasty, son. But as I got older and started getting game, the name took on a new meaning. And even though I wasn't into all that jazz, every time I scored, rebound, or steal a ball, dad would jump up smiling and screaming, that boy out there, keep it funky, filthy. And that made me feel real good about my nickname. Filthy McNasty. It's a mythical man child of rather dubious distinction. Always agitating, combinating, and elevating his game. He dribbles, fakes, then takes the rock to the glass fast and on the blast. But watch out when he shoots or you'll get schooled, fooled, and uncooled.
because when filthy gets hot, he has a slammerific shot. It's a dunkalicious classy, supersonic sassy, and down right in your face, McNasty. Jordan Bell. My twin brother is a baller. The only thing he loves more than basketball is betting. If it's 90 degrees outside and the sky is cloudless, he will bet you that it's gonna rain. It's annoying and sometimes funny. Jordan insists that everyone calls him JB. His favorite player is Michael Jordan, but he doesn't want people to think he's sweating him, even though he is. Evidence. He has one pair of Air Jordan sneakers for every month of the year, including the Air Jord Jordan One Low Barack Obama limited editions, which he never wears. Plus he has MJ sheets, pillowcases, slippers, socks, underwear, notebooks, pencils, cups, hats, wristbands, and sunglasses. With the $50 he won from a bet that he and dad made over weather, the Krispy Kreme hot sign was on. It wasn't. He purchased a Michael Jordan toothbrush only used once on eBay. He's right. He's not sweating him. He's stalking him. On the way to the game. I'm banished to the back seat with JB, who only stops playing with my locks when I slap him across his bald head with my jock strap. Five reasons I have locks. Five. Some of my favorite rappers have them. Little Wayne, Two Chains, and Whale. Four. They make me feel like a king. Three. No one else on the team has them. And two. It helps people to know that I am me and not JB. But mostly because. One, ever since I watched the clip of dad posterizing that seven foot Croatian center on ESPN's best dunks ever, soaring through the air, his long twisted hair like wings carried him high above the rim. I knew one day that I would need my own wings to fly. Mom tells dad, that he has to sit in the top row of the bleachers during the game. You're too confrontational, she says. Filthy, don't forget to follow through on your jump shot, dad tells me. JB tells mom, you're almost in high school, so no hugs before the game, please. Dad says, you boys ought to treasure your mother's love. My mom was like gold to me. Yeah, but your mom didn't come to all of your games, JB says. And she wasn't the assistant principal either, I added. Conversation. Dad, do you miss playing basketball, I ask. Like jazz, Mrs. Dizzy, he says. Huh? Like hip-hop, Mrs. Tupac? Filthy, he says. Oh, but you're still young. You could probably still play, right? My playing days are over, son. My job now is to take care of this family. Don't you get bored sitting around the house all day? You could get a job or something. Filthy, what's all this talk about a job? You don't think your old man knows how to handle his business? Boy, I saved my basketball money. This family's fine. Yeah, I miss basketball a lot. And I do have some feelers out there about coaching. But honestly, right now, I'm fine coaching this house and keeping up with you and your brother. So go get JB so we won't be late to the game and the coach benches you. 
Why don't you ever wear your championship ring? Is this Jeopardy or something? What's with the questions? Yeah, I wear it when I want to floss, dad smiles. Can I wear it to school once? Can you bounce a ball off the roof or off a tree in the hoop? Uh, no. Well, then I guess you're not the man. Only the man wears the ring. Oh, come on, dad. Tell, tell you what, you bring home the trophy this year and we'll see. Thanks, dad. You know, if you get bored, you could always write a book. Like Vondery's mom did. She wrote one about spaceships. A book? What would you have me write about? Maybe a book of those rules that you give me and JB before each of our games. I'm the man by Chuck Bell, dad laughs. That's lame, dad, I say. Who are you calling lame, dad says, headlocking me. Dad, tell me again why they call you dumb man. Filthy, back in the day, I was the boss, never lost. I had the sickest double crossed, double cross, and I kissed so many pretty ladies, they called me lip gloss. Oh, really, mom said, sneaking up on us like she always seems to do. Yeah, you the man, dad, I laughed. Then throw my gym bag in the trunk. Basketball rule number one. In this game of life, your family is the court and the ball is your heart. No matter how good you are, no matter how down you get, always leave your heart on the court. 